Hey Saber fans, Tony here from Roan Sabers, and today another update video for you. If you're new to the channel, I do install, repair, and review these sabers, so please like, comment, and subscribe. Now today we have an Ultimate Works VZ from the pack store. This is um, Ven Zalo's lightsaber from the Old Republic uh, trailer slash video game. And so this was a very um, different type of saber. Um, it comes with a fully removable chassis system, which is very nice. I've um, got to give this a tug. Oh, it comes out. We got the profi board and then a removable battery. Now um, this had some challenges in it. It has a crystal reveal in there. Um, this was originally installed with their Asteria board, and so the customer wanted a Profi board installed with it. Um, they sold these co these um, pods, is what they call them, with Profi, and so he bought one of those and wanted it coded um, specifically to the crystal. Now, this thing has a crystal reveal added onto it besides the removable chassis, and so you can't really see it very well, so I'll ignite the saber real quick. But um, the problem that we had was the data line was connected to this part of the thing, so I couldn't code the crystal through a second data line. And so I did a new technique that I learned um, with a Profi sub blade. Um, so I coated this as well for accents LEDs. This will pulse like the crystal does. And then if you put this in, oh, but has gesture features as well. This will pulse as well. And so, so yeah. Now, um, what I had to do for this um, crystal to pulse like that was um, originally it had like a white crystal, uh, white light going there, and it was just separate of the uh, build itself. And so I decided to do a sub blade um, for one pixel in the front, and so your emitter will pulse as well. Just a tiny little greebly in there um, will pulse, and then so the whole saber seems very alive now compared to just having a white little crystal that didn't really light up. And so um, of course it'll react; it'll turn off in 30 seconds if you don't use it. Um, It'll have that stuff and it'll react to the blade and stuff and lock up. So yeah, you see that all this stuff. And it's very cool because you can see how these little windows as well, as well as the um, emitter. So yeah, um, this has about um, 10 fonts on there. The customer wanted me to do something specific for the character itself. So there's three older public inspired fonts on there with quotes from the trailer. And so without further ado, let's show you off the fonts. Alright, so first up we have Battle by Kyberphonic. Now I designed quotes and font sounds and tracks from the Old Republic um, trailers for Venzalo, which is the character for the saber. And so, first up... So that's the ship crashing into the Jedi Temple during that trailer. So yeah. Very loud. Now the tip's not going to be illuminated because it's coded to his blade, this is one of my blades I'm using. Lock up. Now some of the quotes and force effects. Yeah. And then, um, it has, does have a crystal reveal that reacts um, to the, the thing, so you can see it. And then. And so, yeah. But yeah, and then um, that track for this is just gonna be a battle track that I put on there. And then next up. Finally, we have returned. This is Malgus talking. And so, same for different force effects on there. track on it, Battle of the Heroes, because that's also used in the trailer, and so yeah. They have color changing, which go directly to a red, symbolizing the older public, you change your character's type character, or style or force alignment, and then you have lightning block as well. Which is also going to be responsive. It does have gesture features as well, which is very nice. Next up. And so this is when he dies, when uh, Malgus kills him, and his lightsaber drops on the Jedi Temple, and so yeah, it's the last font for that. And so yeah, this one has the Order 66 track that goes with the quote. 
Next up is the funds that he requested, so first up. The Dark Saber. It belongs to you. This is the Dark V3 by Kyberphonic, the Mandalorian style play. So a silvery purple. It's a lot better here. If you wanted the best bar version, let's see here that. Same quotes. In order for her to wield the dark saber again, she would need to defeat you in combat. Has the Mando track on there? Next up. Ahsoka Tano! Bo Katan sent me. This is the Sorcerer by Kyrophonic, a silver blade as well. Quotes. Let's try something else. Come over here. He's stubborn. Not him. You. Ahsoka Tano! Where is Grand Admiral Thrawn? Yeah. And then the track for that is Mandalorian and a Jedi. Very nice. Very loud saber. Next up, you want me to put the hammer down? classic. Uh, this is Thunder God by Kyberphonic. And so you see a really cool thunder strike and then a snow, uh, storm blade by uh, Fetching 6 3. Has uh, immigrant song. But yeah. Next up. Trans. Oh no, Metamorph by um, or Morphos by Kyberphonic. So it's Transformer Spawn. So just a blue blade. Has the track when they arrive to Earth. So yeah. Next up. I am a Jedi, like my father before me. Classic Return by um, Kyberphonic. So has the bar scene on there. Unstable V2 by Kyberphonic. Or V1, I guess. This has Kylo Ren's theme on it. F1 Speeder by Kyberphonic. Of course, it has the track for that movie. It has a pulse to it. This is the Rogue One version. Very nice slow ignition. Now if you want to do multi-blast. You hold down the ox button for two seconds, give you a false blast, and you just win. Which is really good for this one. And so, next up. 
This is Crimson Menace by Kyra Fogg. This is Mall Swamp from um, Solo. As um, a track from Rebels. So, yeah. Next up, <clears throat> Little Green Friend by Chiraphonic. Of course, it has uh, Yoda versus Dooku on there. So you got your passive battery monitor and of course the party blade. And so that'll change colors as well. So that concludes the update for the VZ by Ultimate Works. I hope the customer enjoys it. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day and may the force be with you.